Before I get any deeper into MIDI recording techniques, I wanna show you some things that pertain to block size, latency, and chasing long MIDI notes. So if you notice a delay or a lag when you're recording, it most likely means that you have some additional latency because your block size is set too high. To adjust this, just go up to Studio One, Preferences, and under the Audio Setup tab, you'll see an option for Device Block Size. Now right now this is set to a pretty high value, 2048 samples, and you'll see that my input and output latency adds up to almost 100 milliseconds of latency. If I set this to a lower value, like 32 samples, you'll see that the combined round trip latency is under eight milliseconds, that's almost unnoticeable. So why do we have different block sizes at all? Well, when you're mixing and editing a performance or mixing a song, you're gonna wanna use a higher block size because this actually gives you more processing power. So you can use more plugins, more instruments, more things like that. However, it comes at a cost of having more latency, so it's not very useful to record at a higher block size. Likewise, if I use a lower block size, I get the benefit of having lower latency, so it's more optimized for recording. However, I'm not gonna be able to use as many plugins and instruments because my processing power is now lower. So you kinda have to think about it as the amount of information that is processed and how quickly it's processed. With lower values, information is processed in smaller blocks or smaller chunks of information, but more quickly. With a higher block size, you have information that's processed more slowly, but in larger blocks or larger chunks. So again, as a general rule, use lower block sizes when you're recording, use higher block sizes when you're editing and mixing. And by the way, block size is actually known as buffer size or IO buffer in most other DAWs. Next, I wanna talk about MIDI chase. And to talk about this, you have to understand that MIDI notes are just control messages. They have note on messages and they have note off messages. If you simply place the playhead in the middle of a MIDI note, that MIDI note is not going to receive its note on message. So if I press play here, you'll hear that nothing happens until the next chord. If I wanted to hear this first chord, I'd have to put the playhead in front of the chord so these notes receive their note on messages. This can be troublesome if you're trying to work in a composition where you have a lot of long notes and a lot of long tones. So to combat this, you can turn on MIDI chase. So to do this, this is also in the Preferences, and this is under the Advanced tab. From here, go to the MIDI tab, and you'll see an option here that says Chase Long Notes. So I'm gonna turn that on, and now when I start playback in the middle of a chord like this, you'll see that no matter where I start playback, I'll still get signal. So all Chase does is it places a note on message at the playhead so that no matter where you start, even if it's in the middle of a chord, you'll still get playback. 